Karen here from stampingbees.co.nz, an independent stamping up demonstrator. Welcome back, lovely to see you again. Today I would like to share with you something else from the annual catalogue, and not the annual catalogue, sorry, the um, holiday catalogue that has recently been released. We are so lucky that we have uh, plenty of lead in time to Christmas with this catalogue because there is so many wonderful things in there that I just actually don't even know where to start. So I would like to share with you another card made with the beautiful Seaside Spray, but I do promise that I will use some other colours as well, but I really have fallen in love with that. So. I will flip you over and we will get started. So yes, as I said from the um, holiday catalogue, creativity is calling. And I will be using the Feels Like Frost Sweet. This is just absolutely stunning. There are so many things that you can do with this sweet. And today I would like to make a card and share with you using the stamp set and the dies and of course, this beautiful paper absolutely glorious um, specialty designer series paper it is just endless the possibilities so I will show you what we will be doing so I did my first video as you know I did um, my first one from the holiday catalogue was sharing this card with you but it was the pink one that we did but still using the designer series paper um, so this one I would like to do is also using the paper, but um, this is actually tied with a bow on the side. So I'll just do that up and I will show you. How it is all made up. Oh, always when you try and do something like this on camera, you tie a bow a million times. Don't you love this ribbon? This Seaside Spray metallic ribbon is just gorgeous. Hence why I've used it a couple of times now. Um, so this is using the Designer Series paper and the, as I said, the Seaside Spray ribbon and the dies out of the um, suite. And then it just opens up into the middle. So something just a little bit different using vellum. I just love vellum. I think it just adds that lovely softness and you're not covering up the beautiful paper underneath. And aren't these bunnies from Nature's Beauty and the Fox, etc., just stunning? And I don't know if you're aware, but I'm sure you probably are, but from this stamp set, Nature's Beauty, $4.50 from every, that's New Zealand dollars, $4.50 from each stamp set sold is actually given to mental health. So that is such a fantastic cause and beautiful stamp set. So a win-win. Um, okay, so we will start by, actually there's one other card I'll show you before we start. I'll leave that there so you can see that. This is just a, um, sort of a beginner's card or a lead-in card and using the Stamparatus with making the Happy Christmas run down the side. So fantastic for a beginner's card. And the designer series paper just speaks for itself. So let's, of course, you've all seen the papers, but I'll just quickly show you um, the papers in here and the Feels Like Frost Suite. I love, and I haven't used it yet. Um, where is it? Well, I love them all, obviously. Look at that colour in that one. Isn't that beautiful? And this one, stunning. But wait, there's more, as I like to say. On the reverse side, you've got these gorgeous patterns with the silver embossing. Isn't that, you just don't know which side to use, really. Yeah. Amazing. So yes, I will move on to other items in that catalogue, but yes, I really enjoyed having a play with these. So I'll pop those over and I'll start off with, now I'll put all the measurements on screen as we go. I, this is a, just a standard card size that I've got here, but I have marked it here, um, scored it here, and I will 
the measurements will be on screen for you. I find to get the best fit for this type of fold, if you do one score and fold your card in, and then you fold your card to meet that edge, you're going to get it perfect every time. It's not going to be overlapping. It's going to meet or butt up exactly as you want it to butt up. So, there we go. And now we have our gatefold card. So, I'll put that aside. I have used the Seaside Spray cardstock as the matting. Now what I'm doing is I'm having the right side as the bigger side and the left side as the smaller side that the square will be attached to. So <clears throat> I've just cut, so I got the designer series paper and when I cut it down the middle it matches perfectly when it'll be placed on the card. So just a thing to remember when you're putting it together that you put um, them round the right way. So we'll just quickly glue, glue these panels on. And remove it till it's right. So this part of it is pretty straightforward. In fact, the whole car is really not that um, difficult. Okay, and then we'll pop that on to the base of the card. Oops. <laughs> so, used to putting the lid straight back on. So I just put the glue around the edge and a little bit in the middle. You don't need a lot of glue and you really don't want your glue to be um, squirt, squirting, squirting out the side and spoiling your project. So it doesn't, you don't need much for this glue to work really well. So don't do it too close to the edge. And it's just a tiny bit of glue. And that works really well. So I'll pop that in, making sure that I get that level. Pop that to the side. <clears throat> now we'll work on the square. So what I've done is I have used the dies in the die set that comes with this suite. And I have masked these together. Um, so that when I cut out the, so this is separate, just take that off, that's separate, but I have put that in with that and, and masked it up. So when I cut the blue and then when I cut the glimmer paper one, it's exactly the same for matching up, for gluing on together, instead of just putting it on loosely each time. So I have pre-cut these. Um, I did use my precision board for this because you needed to be able to get this or the detail out. Um, and I'll just <clears throat> use my brush and get out these extra bits. Oh, yeah. So the precision plate is, I don't use it all the time because it can um, sort of warp your plates. Um, but I do love to use it for something like this where you don't want to have to keep doing it over and over to get it, to get it right. Um, as you're all probably aware though, we are not selling um, the big shots anymore. Uh, we will be releasing our own embossing die cutting machine soon so watch this space but then in the interim just keep using what you've got so the next step is 
So that's the two pieces there. So you will be using that both up the right way. So now I've cut a piece of vellum out that is going to be like the window. So we are going to put all this together. But before we do that, I am going to stamp with the bunny from that Nature's Beauty set. Now I mustn't forget to use my embossing buddy. I find that really does help. I put it, I store it away on top of my Versamark so that when I get out my Versamark, it is on top so that I don't forget because I tend to forget. <laughs> And it does make a big difference. Now, I want to stamp this not too far from the bottom because it will be hidden. So I will just make sure. You can actually put this anywhere you like. I just decided to put it near the bottom just because I liked it there. But you can put it in the middle or anywhere you like. So I'm just giving it a good... A good um, just moving up. Here we go, you can't see anything at the moment. And what I have used is our new um, Glimmer or Sparkly White Embossing Powder. Just to keep with, in keeping with the card, with the sparkles. And of course, those of you who know me know that I love my sparkles. Now, I would now heat this up. Um, I won't blast you with the heat gun, but <clears throat> you can see this now. Um, I would heat that with the gun underneath the vellum rather than on top. So just gently underneath until it sets. And then I would pop a little bit of glue around here and a little bit of glue, uh, pop that on like so. And then just a little bit of glue around. You don't need a lot. And as I say, you especially don't need it um, squirting out the sides and run a delicate line around the edge. Oops because the glue will show up on the vellum if you put if you put too much. So as I say, just dot it around very, very lightly. And then using the glimmer that you have also cut out what should fit perfectly because you masked the die. Pop that together and you have your window. Now I did heat this one and glue this one previously so that it was all ready to go. And the next thing would be for us to do is to put the ribbon on because as you can see from this card, the ribbon is underneath the bottom. I didn't want the ribbon coming up and going through the vellum so you couldn't see it. So I wanted it to sit at the bottom there. And it's um, attached all the way across on the small piece around the back and just a little bit on that piece there because that's where it's going to be tied. So for that I use my tape and I have previously cut this ribbon and I'll measurements as I say all the measurements go up on the screen. Now I will just measure this out because this wraps around and you want enough on the side there to, as you can see on this one, when you get it to there, this bit's a bit longer because it just has to go around that little bit further. So we will just adjust, adjust that to make sure that's that little bit longer. Now I'm just gonna pop, pop that on here to make sure that I get that right. Okay. It's a snug fit, but it does fit. And so that's about, that's about right there. So what I'm gonna do 
Let's just pop a little bit of tape to start the ball rolling. Oops, I'm sure it doesn't want my hair in there. And so this is just tear and tape. go and just peel it off pop that on and we've sort of got the right um, the right spot for it now and then I'll just put a tiny bit here on the edge actually no I won't I will run that round the back because I've got that exactly right <coughs> so I find tape much better for ribbon because um, often you will find the glue will come through onto your through your ribbon, depending on the ribbon, but often it will show through, and that is not something that you want to see. Big blobs of glue, so um, tape tape is much better. You don't have to actually do the whole length like this. You could just do a couple of spots, but um, I'll do this for ease today and then just run that down the bottom and then just a tiny bit here just to attach on the front. As I say, that's where it's going to be tied. Just to help secure it that little bit. Okay, so the next thing we'll do before we put the front on is we will stamp inside. As you can see with this one. I've just stamped, wishing you a season full of family, friends and happiness. And then from the Feels Like Frost suite, the stamp set in there that has the gorgeous snowflakes. And using the, I will show you as well, I'll be doing the envelope. So I'll stamp that up, just get everything else out of the way. No right or wrong where you put this, as I say, you just can pop this anywhere you like. So I'm doing that there, and then I will also do it on the envelope. Always like to pop a little something on the envelope, whether it's on the outside, or sometimes you can line your envelopes. That's really nice too, so when they open it up, they have a nice... Um, greeting of a pattern as well. So that's the envelope. And we will just do the sentiments as well. Okay, make sure I get it up the right way. Now what I always like to do before I stamp on to my card straight away, I will just double check that that is straight before I stamp on the cards. Always do. So that it'll, the W is a little bit up. So when I stamp on the card, I'll just stamp just a tiny bit down on the left. Not much, but just a tiny bit. There we are. Perfect. Okay, so now the trick is to make sure that when we glue our bunny on, that we only glue enough to go onto one side. Otherwise, you won't be able to open the card. Um, so we know the bottom is down here. Just move that over to there and figure out where I need to glue. So if I glue from here up to that first leaf, that's about right. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure I get it the right way. I nearly went that way. So once again, just a little bit of glue. You don't need, I mean, you're sure you need to make this one quite secure, but you don't want it oozing out onto your project. But you want it to be able to be secure. Just wipe that bit off. Okay, the next thing, let's get those rubbing out of the way. The next thing I did was just to pop some of these beautiful sequin snowflakes from the snowflake sequins. I think I'll have to buy another bottle of these when I do a dome card because I am using them all up on my cards. So I have just used the fine tip glue for this. And just randomly popped some glue dot uh, glue spots glue spots around not too much glue it is quite hard to see these so you have to make sure you've um, remembered <laughs> okay so I might tip some out actually I found that a bit easier I haven't run out of the snowflakes. There we go, here's one. So, put that one there. Ooh, my snowflakes are getting low. These are great for the shaker card, which um, I was just saying I haven't got around to making yet. It certainly is on my list. I've seen some beautiful cards up on the internet with the shaker cards. It's just so inspiring. I haven't actually made anything like that before, so I thought what a great time to have a go at doing something like this. So I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. I'll have a wee practice first before I put it up on here. And I think I've just got one more in there somewhere. Yeah. So there's no, as I say, there's no, actually I've got one more I can see. Um, there's one there. Let's see where those, can you hear that squeaky chair as well? Gosh, to put some oil on that. Okay, so the last thing I did, so I'll just tie this bow. And close the card up because I want to be able to keep it flat. That off. What I have added onto this card. Didn't do that very tight. There we go. Now this does take a little while to dry, so you need to. Um, I will just pop maybe the ribbon on there to keep it flat. 
um, this here shimmery crystal effects. Now when you drop this down, it should drop down in a little ball, don't squeeze it too hard. And you just drop it down and it has got shimmer in it, so it will glitter. But as I say, it does take, you have to make sure you don't put your fingers on it until it is dry. So I, I'll just pop it, pop these on, but I'll show you the other card that I did. That is, it's got a lovely effect and the thickness of it just means it forms this gorgeous little, gorgeous little ball with shimmer in it. Oops. And I don't know if you can see, but these are the ones here that have set. Um, yeah, probably very difficult to see. Not sure. I'll hold it up in the hope, in the hope that you can see. But yes, that's the finished card with the envelope. And anyone would absolutely love to receive this card. So I hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to ask any questions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And I'd love to see you again next time. Take care. Bye.